the computer is here. And this is the box. Notebook PC by LG. These are the features. It's a 16 inch. I needed something large. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. I need to look in side to see if the RAM is upgradable. I believe it is because that was a very big part of my um, checks. It has Alexa. I don't need Alexa. So, trying to do this one handed. Ah, so it's going to open like a present. I guess there are four of these. Box is open. And this is some sort of bag containing the computer. It's a nice little sleeve thing, and the computer is very light. Um, when I was doing my research on this, uh, I heard complaints about flex when you lift the computer up. We will see in real-time use. Installation guide. Power. Stylus. HDMI to USB um, USB is this A or C? I forget. Little one. Uh, limited warranty installation notebook should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, so I'll charge it, get into it, and. I think the next time you see me with this will be a completely different day. Yeah. Cool. Do not use the product on lap. On top of carpet, blanket, or bed. Do not put the adapter under blanket. Well, that's good to know. That is good to know, but that is interesting that you can't use the computer under the towel. To connect to wired LAN, you must purchase a LAN adapter separately. I would hope to God that this has Wi-Fi inbuilt because I do not, do not want to go through what I did with this desktop computer again. Okay, let's go charge on our way. False alarm. Before we go charge, I wanted to ooh, show you how it looks. Yes, that is me holding my phone. Um, this is okay. So you see the gram there. Wait, there you go. Why is it blurry? Come on, come on. There we go. So you see. <laughs> I think the black from this thing is bothering it somehow. But this thing is light, you guys. It is light. This is what real life reviews consist of. Okay. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. uh, shoe. Oh. You are supposed to recognize me from my... Plus, I don't even like these. What are these animals? Okay, do the pin thing. Mm -hmm. So 
so this is the computer. I was going to get some more fonts. One thing I need to do is move this away from there. I don't like that. I might have to downgrade this to Windows 10. I'm still not used to... There we go. Uh, I want to move the taskbar. Move the taskbar. Move the taskbar. Uh, taskbar alignment. There we go. Left. Left. I wonder what the process is for downgrading to Windows 10. I know I don't want that there. And basically, that's it. That's that's the computer. Well, well. Something I didn't know. It has a full-size USB. It's just the one, but it is a full-size USB thingamajig. It's called a port. In this case, thingamajig is a port. What is that portion? Uh oh. <laughs> the screen just went black. <laughs> okay, so that's the lock. Uh, let's try and be. Okay, that's the sleep. I like that. And then we have a micro SD and a full USB, y'all. A full USB. Nice. Editing in Konya here. Uh, I am in the library studying, and I guess I'm showing you guys. It, it is a vlog, so I'm doing some show and tell here, and shortly. You guys will see me talk about the computer, I'm using the new computer, to do my studying. Hey y'all, I just need for this chicken to brown, and then I need it to cool down, and I would like to make some soup. Are you videoing? Yes, dear. Yes! I should, I should not go out looking like this. <laughs> they said he should not go out looking like this. Um, so, I'm try I tried something different, I tried to roast some garlic Why would you do that? Um, you so that I could people? make soup uh, can you <laughs> give me a minute please Bye, you need help in opening that yes all right I'll be I'll be right back y'all all right I was trying this new thing I saw it online uh, somebody was making soup and she roasted the garlic and then um, you know cut the tops off and then squeezed them into the blender thingy and roasted them I intend on making kale and mushroom soup. I hope I can make soup in the cat. Ooh, I had to, because it's really hard. All right. <laughs> I keep getting interrupted. Um, so I'm going to squeeze this into, when it cools down, I'll squeeze it somewhere and then put it into the um, blender along with onions and some spices and start to make the soup. I already have stock. I might use a little bit of a little bit of this. 
and I'll use some potatoes, white russet potato, white russet, whatever, potatoes. I also have some sweet potatoes and I'll put some sweet potatoes and then le chicken. And that's going to be dinner. Dinner. See y'all later. And I'm trying new things. And I'm trying them with one hand. Ooh. I don't know what to do. Ah. Hey, if we get some some uh, skin in here, it's, it's just going to be fiber, right? It's fiber. Isn't it fiber? What do you guys think? It's fiber. Ah, this isn't working. I'm going to have to use a fork. It, not a fork. I'm going to have to use a knife. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want that much fiber. Okay. All right, this isn't working. It's caramelized. I think it uh, was heated for too long. It's caramelized. <laughs> I'm not happy with this. But the chicken's done. The chicken's done. Um, so, uh, yeah, soup. <sighs> See, if I was cooking Nigerian food, this wouldn't have been a problem. It's straightforward. I know what to do and, you know, it's just... But this is this oibo food that I decided today that I'm going to cook. This is and then this is the result. Ugh. All right. See y'all later. All right. So this is a bit of a bootleg recipe. Um. So I'm just you know. I have what is this avocado oil? I have avocado oil. I heated it up already, and then I have carrots and celery right here. Normally, you would put some sliced onions and garlic. Uh, I don't need to do that because I have it in here. Okay. And I blended the onions and what was in here? Onions and roasted garlic. Shoot. I didn't put ginger. I have some TJ. Come. Ginger from the fridge, please. We both have to be on this journey because bo boys need to be able to cook. Come on. Thank you, sir. So I'm going to rinse this out with some water and leave this to simmer for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So now we have chicken stock already in here. I will add, I think I'll add, let me add all of this stock. I'll add all of this stock. TJ, I need your help, please. Ooh okay, I got it. Huh? I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm adding all of the stock. There's a bit of citrusy flavor in it. And what else? And then I have the potatoes. I'll add the potatoes to it, and then I'll cover the pot and let it simmer. That's it. That's our that's our soup. That's yeah, that is our soup. So, I forgot that I had two types of potatoes. I had um potatoes, regular potatoes. russet potatoes and I had regular sweet potatoes, Japanese sweet potatoes, the ones with this purple skin. So, you know, I noticed it quickly, so I took it out. I took the russet potatoes out and put these in because these take a longer time to cook those russet potatoes are already soft so there's nothing that i need to do in there i've decided against adding any more bone broth or any chicken i've decided against adding the bone broth because there's already so much liquid i still have um, at least two bowls like this of potatoes to add and then there's mushrooms and there's kale still coming in and the kale would you know emit some water 
Um, so I think I'll season this up just a little bit because there's seasoning in the stock I added. And I, th I believe the last two things I'll add are the kale and the mushrooms. Uh, and now we need, what do we need? White pepper, okay. TJ, let's go to grandma and grandpa's house. <laughs> Time to borrow some pepper. <laughs> this is one of the things that I enjoy with the parental units being, you okay? No. This is one of the things I enjoy with the parental units being close by, is that I can quickly run over and get something that I need. I mean, technically I don't need the white pepper because I have black pepper, but it's fun. It's fun, okay? Whew, yo. Um, so, uh, continuing with the soup saga, soup saga. Um, so this soup can be made vegan if you, you know, if you only use vegetable stock and not chicken stock. Um, you know, just in case you are vegan or trying out meatless, uh, meatless things. Is it Lent yet? Some people give up meat for Lent. I don't, uh, uh, because I take every opportunity to get iron. That's also part of why I'm making the soup in the cast iron pot, uh, because it's supposed to help, you know, with your iron levels and I need all the help I can get. Uh, what else? So yeah, you can make it vegan, you know, do it the same way. Just no chicken stock, use vegetable stock. And I think I'll, I have some shrimp that I can't use for like a whole meal, which reminds me I need to add shrimp to my Sam's list, but I have some shrimp that I can't use for a whole meal. I will add it to the soup with the chicken. I mean, I'll put the shrimp in right before I put the mushroom and kale and then that'll be it. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm not going to end the vlog here, um, but just give me a couple minutes. The, the, I'm bringing the soup up to a boil so that the other potatoes will soften up a bit. And now I'm going to go add the Irish potatoes, Irish russet. They're just, I added a little bit of broth. I'm just going to make it like half, half a thing. Because as you can see, the potatoes swallowed up the uh, swallowed up the bowl or the pot. I might. Do I need to turn this into something else? No. If I leave it open, I won't. The sweet potatoes are practically almost cooked. I will cover this now and leave the russet potatoes to cook. Some of these are a little big, but you know, just to provide some. <laughs> I wanted to say visual interest, but it's... <laughs> I cracked myself up. It's not visual interest. It's not visual interest. And I washed these very, very well uh, so that I could leave the skin on for some fiber. Fiber, as you know, is good. It's really, really cold here. So, um, why am I adding more? I don't know. Stop. Um, taste for seasoning. I'm not putting... I'm not going to add salt as such because my parents will be eating this as well and they don't cook with salt anymore. So, you know, and this, I put some of this. This one from Trader Joe's has some salt, but this, this other one does not. And just a little bit more seasoning. Then cover, and then we will be we will be done. Cast iron. I need to season this one. I was wrong about the shrimp, y'all. I don't have leftover shrimp. Which kind of? Oop! Careful! Don't you don't want that in the in the thing now, do you? Oh doing this with one hand uh, you you guys will see this hold on transfer process has to happen because kale soup 
mushrooms. This is going to go in here. And I'm going to add more mushrooms. I mean, I'm already transferring to a bigger pot anyway. Because I don't know how to cook for one person. Which is what I really should be doing. All right. Again. <laughs> Sorry for all these cuts, but th hey. Vlogmas, what's today? Day 18. All right. Soup is done. Soup is done. We have one and a half packs of kale with broccoli and some red cabbage. And then the chicken is just going to be added. Whoever wants to eat it with bread, we'll eat it with bread, garlic bread, and whatnot. And that's all for today, guys. I'm a little pooped. Pooped. And so this is all you get. This is all you get for Vlogmas Day 18. And see y'all later. Peace. Peace out. If you haven't already, hit the like button.